All right, this is me uploading every day until Mr. hires me. I am bad at chess, and I get super frustrated because of how bad I am at chess. And I go into the games thinking, practice this thing, practice this, thing, practice this. Thing. I don't practice the thing. Um, I get forked all the forking time by the freaking rook. I mean, a knight, knight by the knight. This guy, this guy right here. Shut up, you hairy, wiry a saddle just to be worth something little freaking piece of I bet you're not even a stallion or any sort of like good breed I bet you're a back roads little hick knight horse thing oh I bet you are so this is a fork one of the most common forks there is like at this point it doesn't get me because I've been killed by it sometimes but versions of this of a knight here boom he can take your you can take your rook or he can take your <clears throat> and because you can't let your king be taken you have to fork with the rook because Knights have the special ability to jump pieces. The only way to stop a knight is to kill the knight or threaten another piece. And since the white has nothing to threaten, the queen here goes here, take it immediately, nothing to protect it. So at the, at the end of the day, you have, no, you have no choice but to go here or here or here, anywhere, it doesn't matter. Knight, knight's going to jump in, take your rook. Boom, you've lost your rook. I've gotten over that one. I figured that one out. But then just randomly in games, let me see if I can go find one. Here, here's a good one. You see it? Do you see it coming? It's in four moves. Boom. Takes the bishop. That's painful. I don't, I don't think I got anything for that bishop. I think it was just a dumb move. This is why I'm in I'm 600 rank, okay? Because I take a bishop there, thinking, ooh, I have the, I have the fork. I have the fork. Hey, look at, I'm look. oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Doink. No such, no such luck. No such luck. This is why I'm 600 rank. All right. So, and I think, you know what? I'll capitalize on it. I'll trade, I'll trade for a bishop. Cool. I, I'm smart. He takes... He takes the pawn. And I don't remember what I was thinking. Oh, my, I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice here. So see, after this move, right here, when I countered taking this queen, taking the bishop, it was already over. It was already over. That pawn, I'm in check. And I have, and I, and what I should have done right here was take the knight, trade the queen. But I'm not, I'm, I'm not thinking this, I'm thinking, you know what, no, I threaten the knight, and because I went there instead of literally anywhere else, I could have gone here, I could have gone here, I could have gone anywhere. I was there, and boom. I'm forked out of nowhere. Because how does the knight move? Bam, or bam, it doesn't matter. I've lost my queen for nothing. Literally get nothing for this. And the crazy thing is that this happened off of this mistake. Off of thinking I could check, and at minimum, trade, but it was already gone. It was already over. Four moves prior. I'm furious. This isn't the end of the story. I'm furious at this point with this freaking game with forks. So as you can probably tell, I'm furious at this point. Just fuming. And I start this game up out of pure spite, and I'm not playing carefully. Let's put it that way. So I literally just go full tilt, attack the pawn, a traditional e4 opening. Uh, you've seen it a bajillion times before. I was actually surprised at this move here. That's not that's not very normal. But anyway, uh, I just went I just went with the traditional traditional uh, opening of pieces. When I had there, I knew the queen was gonna take there, do the check. Uh, I was like, you know what? Let's go without queens. And he said, I'm I'm a little wuss. I don't want to. So he backed off. I was real close to just going ahead and taking here, but I decided not to. Um, I wanted to take the center. I said, you know what? Let me get my fair share of the center. Nobody's out here. I've got my I've got my knight here. He's safe. Let me go ahead and advance the center a little bit. Um, he's doing something over there. I don't know what. I got. I, I wanted to castle. I wanted to castle bad. So I was getting everything out of the way. I figured, hey, this guy can commit. Protect this guy. Protect this guy. That was great. So there, here, it's coming. It's coming already. It's coming. This guy. These guys are in play. You know I'm looking for a fork. You know I'm looking for a fork. So, all right. So they're out. Little pawns are, whoa, I didn't know. Look at that. Look at that. That one move. Look at, look at what one move can do to you in chess. He moved a pawn forward, and apparently I'm supposed to win. Like, just that easy. Uh, boom, pawn, and skyrocket. But I'm sure it plummets after. Oh, no, no, I did the right move. So knight takes, knight takes pawn. Queen attacks knight. Ooh. Look how much it plummets. I apparently have... I missed a win here. Look at that. I missed a win here. Mauled it. I was so mad. And, and this game this game didn't even upset me because I was, I was just furious. Just blinging moves out of this point. Just saying, queen here, knight here, 
let's do this. But I'm all eyes, all eyes right here on this square. I want it so bad. You see me gunning for it? Like, I want it so bad. I want that queen gone so I can get this fork because I've been forked five, six times a day and I'm over it. And I just want to do it to somebody else. So we go back and forth. We're, you know, knight, you know, pawn takes bishop, bishop. I mean, pawn takes pawn, bishop takes bishop, pawn, blah, blah, blah. But he moves that, he moves that, he moves that knight. So the rook can move now. So now I'm on the clock. But I still want it. I want it so bad. And if, look at this. I don't know why, why. Why does this go skyrocket up? One move. Moves a pawn wrong. And all of a sudden he's just... So I get the check. Which I thought was pretty clever. So I forced him to take the bishop out. But look at this move right here. So this guy, he could go here, but queen gets him. But because he moved this pawn, and I was watching for this pawn, I wanted him to move this pawn. That's why my queen was here in the first place. was because I wanted him to move this freaking pawn up so that my knight could do this. Frick yeah. I got the fork. Oh, I got the fork, and it feels so good. It, there's no worse feeling than getting stuck in a fork and you know it. When you're looking at the pieces, and you know there's no way out, and you know you're going to lose a piece, and there's nothing you can do about it. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, he moves his queen here or something. And boom, I take rook. And I actually, I had a better move here. Um, so the better move, I think, was bishop or, or bishop to here and then here. Or something, I, I, don't, I, I, can't, even, I can't even remember. But there was a better move here, but I wanted so bad so i rocked him in the corner took that rook he took mine there i had to move the queen uh no big deal i you know double pressured the double pressure the knight here um this was probably one of the dumbest things um because at that point he, he wanted to check my king but actually i just got to go i made a house for the king got to go hide in it um this that was game over boom takes the queen there and it was he he was his i passed on the molding secret and then dip. This was my last game of the day. I literally just said, here you go. Enjoy. Enjoy just, just have this. A little present from me. And that was it. Um, I wrapped it up for the day. I ended up, uh, ended up at 620 for the day. Not bad. I mean, it's bad. It's bad. But it could be worse. So, yeah, that's my chess story for the day. Uh, that's my chess story for the day. I am still awful. But I'm getting better just like I am with my videos. So as always, I'm looking forward to working with you, Jimmy.